Special occasion for family and friends and um, I guess for 13 years the time flies and um, you know obviously having some great umpiring mates there as well made it a really special day so um, the game wasn't fantastic but great to have a lot of people there supporting you and I guess getting some reward for their support over many years. Yeah, I think you, um, you've got your own personal achievements that you want to you um, get to, Howie, but I think, um, certainly in my case, you know, a lot of it you do to make family and friends proud, I guess, and I mean, you don't always think of that, but it's certainly a big part of, um, you realise how important they are throughout you know, your whole yeah. career, but at certainly early stages, you know, family and mum in particular for driving me all around the countryside and, and doing all those junior games. I do remember it was 35 degrees. I remember there was over 40 goals kicked, and it was a pretty close game. And um, I also remember uh, Corin Rowe uh, missed a free kick late in the game, and that got three or four pages uh, or back page of the Herald Sun. So that was certainly a, um, I guess, an eye opener for me in terms of a welcoming to, to AFL footy and the exposure and the spotlight of which we're under. But I was just, um, I guess, living a bit of a dream umpire on my first AFL game, round one. So it's a bit of both. Obviously, we all, as you know, uh, individually work really, really hard to try and be there, sort of right at the end. But, um, you know, I guess you get a lot of other enjoyments out of the seasons um, and the years and all the travel you do, both within the season and pre-seasons with the footy guys. So um, whilst it's, you know, it's the pinnacle of our sport, um, you feel pretty privileged because not everyone certainly gets there. Um, so it is a great reward for effort and consistency, but um, I think when I pulled the pin eventually, I said last week, the memories will be more about the trips away, the fun times you have at training, um, and all those sorts of things as well. So David Levins, I guess, is um, he's been a mentor of mine for many, many years, and so that just started as, a, I guess, a, an umpiring mentor relationship but over the years we've become really close friends and we've assisted each other I think in um, various aspects of life and um, be it property and um, other sport and work and things like that so he's certainly been a, a great supporter for me uh, all my coaches over the journey um, you know in, since 1991 92 when I started have helped me grow and develop as an umpire and also what can't be underestimated is your peers you know you learn an awful lot from them and certainly still do and um, you know we've got a lot of great umpires who are fantastic at their craft so you know you certainly learn uh, from your peers as well.